Hello, my name's Dr Ange and welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yes! Good. But someone's not feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's... Kiwa! Does your head go under the water when you swim? Yeah, I always swim underwater. In fact, one time I went so deep, I saw a dolphin. And I'm not even kidding you. A dolphin? Mm. In a swimming pool? Yeah. Really? Well, it might have been a blow-up dolphin. <gasps> Ow! <sighs> Does your jaw hurt as well? Yeah, from here. I think we need to have a look to see what's going on. <gasps> what's that? This is an horoscope. An otoscope? No, an <laughs> horoscope. It's got a strong light in it that lets me look inside your ear. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh. oh, I see. The inside of your ear is really red and swollen. Yeah. Is it difficult to hear? Yes. When I'm listening to my music, it's all whoa, whoa, whoa. Like my head's in a pillow. Kiwa, you've got an ear infection. Infection? I've heard that word before. An infection is when germs get inside the body and cause trouble. Ooh. Come over here, I've got a great way to explain all this to you. OK. Now this is a model of the ear. This is the outside bit, the bit that you can see, and this is the inside, the bit that I was looking at with my horoscope. Wow. There are lots of parts to our ears. Which part has the infection? This part here, the ear canal. Now a healthy ear has got earwax in it. Yeah. Have you ever tasted earwax before? <laughs> oh, Kiwa, you didn't. <laughs> it's gross, but my grandma says you have to try everything once. Kiwa, earwax contains all the dirt and dust that gets inside your ear and you don't want to be eating that. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Well, earwax is actually pretty clever stuff. It coats the inside of your ear canal, protecting it from harmful germs. So why didn't my earwax protect me? Aha! Imagine this is the water from the swimming pool. Oh. Now, swimming is great exercise, but every time you put your head under the water, it washes away a little bit of the earwax, like this. So I haven't got anything protecting my ear. That's actually bad, isn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. And sometimes this can happen. Are they germs, Dr Ange? Yep. Boo! Boo! Ow! Oof. The germs get in and upset the inside of your ear and that makes it swell up so you can't hear properly and it makes your ear sore. How do our ears hear, Dr Ange? I know. Let's ask Nurse Morag and the Healthy Helpers to explain. Hello, Nurse Morag. Hello, Dr Ange. Hi, it's Kiwa. Hello, Kiwa. You got a question for me? Yes, I have. How do our ears hear? That's another excellent question. I think it's one for my healthy helpers. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me questions, catching through. Healthy helpers will show and tell how you can keep fit and well. Ask me what you need to know. Ask the nurse. Catch that ball, yeah, it's your goal. Give me 
big questions, catch and throw. Healthy ask. helpers will show and ask tell how ask. you can keep fit and well. Nottingham and my healthy helpers are... Hello, my name's Evie and I like pond dipping. Hello, my name is Omar and I like football. Hello, my name's Jasmine and I like going to weddings. Hello, my name is Daniel and I really like running. Hello, healthy helpers. Hello. How are you all? Good. Excellent. Now, before we answer the question, how do our ears hear, I want to know, why do we need our ears? So then we can hear the cars it, when we're going to cross the road. That's right. It's very good for when we need to cross the roads. Because we need to hear nature and things like birds. That's right, because the birds sing such beautiful songs, don't they? And what about you, Jasmine? What do you think? So we can hear our pets if they need some food or drink or they need to go out. Very good. Because there's lots and lots of different sounds, aren't they? And they tell us what's going on round about us. There's also really loud sounds. Do you think you could play a loud sound in that drum for me as loud as you can? Very good. Now we need a quiet sound. Who could do a really quiet sound? Omar, you do a wee quiet one for me. I'll try. Okay. Fantastic. Our ears are really clever. They're one of the parts of our body that tell us what's going on all around us. Now, shall we go and play a game to find out how our ears work? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Right, Evie, you and I will come here. Now, some people find it harder to hear and need a bit of help. Evie, what have you got to help you hear? A hearing aid. What's that? It's something that helps you hear better. Can I see it? Wow, you've got a glittery one. And that helps you hear better, doesn't it? You pop it back in just now. Very nice. I've never seen one with glitter before. <laughs> right, you go and join the Healthy Helpers. Now, Healthy Helpers, inside our ear, we have a tube. Not a plastic tube like this one, and it's not as big as this or nearly as long. It's a tiny, tiny tube. And what I want you to do is, Evie, if you could hold this end. OK. This tube is like the one in our ear. And this funnel here is like her ear. It's going to collect all the sound and take it down the tube. So you pop that to your ear and see if you can hear me. You ready? If you can hear me, stamp your feet. Excellent. Good. OK, pass it down to Omar and he can have a shot. If you can hear me, clap your hands. Excellent. So, we can see that tubes are great for carrying the sounds that we collect from our ear. Well, at the other side of the tube, there's something like a drum, and it's called your eardrum. And whenever the sound reaches the eardrum, it wobbles off it, and that tells you what you're hearing. So, poor Kiwa, she can't hear properly because she's got a sore ear and the tube's getting squashed. So, shall we try and squash this tube and see what happens? Right, guys, there we are. There we are. Are you ready to listen? Yep. Pop it to your ear. If you can hear me, touch your nose. Oh, Jasmine can't hear us because the tubes got blocked, just like poor Kiwa's tube in her ear. And that, Kiwa, is how your ears work. The part of your ear that we can see catches the sound and sends it down a tube when it hits a small drum. And that's what tells you what the sound is. But sometimes the tube can get blocked or germs can get trapped there making it sore. And that stops the eardrum from working properly. And it can make it harder to hear as well. Yeah, well soon. Bye bye, bye, -bye Kiwa. And foot and mouth disease. Dotted, dotted spots, but none of